Yo, what up basketball card collectors and investor friends, Cajun Cardboard coming at you from the great state of Louisiana today for part three of 2017 Revolution Chinese New Year box break. And this is uh, box number three. If you watched video one and two, you should feel sorry for me uh, because you saw what came out of that box. I deserve a refund. Box number three is gonna be special. It's gonna be elite. Um, again, I'm not gonna let it tarnish my opinion of this product. I really like Revolution cards. I think they look great. Um, give me a favor and comment. Let me know what you think about Revolution cards. Let me know what you think are uh, undervalued uh, products out there that Panini uh, Panini's made these past few years. Let's go from the jump. Damian Lillard, Brooke Lopez, Chandler Parsons, uh, Gershon Yabuseli, Chinese New Year, and then an Ananobi rookie. Ananobi still goes in my mediocre rookie stack. Even though he's having what some would call, a, I guess, a breakout year for him. I don't know. Tobias Harris, Miles Turner, Ben Simmons, uh, Chinese New Year, Serge Ibaka, and a Frank Mason, mediocre rookie. Uh, number three, the trend continues. Are these have these been searched? Uh, Blake Griffin, Isaiah Thomas, Vucevic, Cracked Ice Reddick, and another Jared Allen rookie. I think I pulled a Jared Allen rookie in box number two. If you watch videos one and two, I just looked up uh, on 130 point the comps. The um, the LeBron Chinese New Year that I pulled actually has a little bit of value, and the Lonzo might as well uh, if it grades well. I'm not sure it's something I would be interested in grading. Um, Chinese New Year, Tyler Dorsey, Wesley Awundu. Man, I'll tell you what, you can't possibly open three boxes with this many packs and a rookie, at least one rookie, it's come out to about 1.3 rookies in every pack and never hit a Tatum or a Mitchell. But I am defying the odds right now. Uh, yep, I'm gonna keep defying the odds. <clears throat> Maybe I should have bought a case. We got a Steph base. I always put Steph, Durant, LeBron, Giannis, Doncic, even their base cards. I put them in a sleeve and top loader, so I'm gonna put it to the side. Ryan Anderson, Porzingis, uh, really cool looking uh, Vince Carter Kings, Chinese New Year, and then another Dylan Brooks rookie. Anybody who knows me knows how I feel about Dylan Brooks. He's a super try hard. He thinks he's a fantastic offensive player. And he's not. He is an instigator and an agitator on defense, so I will give him credit for that. And that should be his role, but he thinks he's a great offensive player. And it pains me that I had to pick him up for my fantasy team um, because it was the right thing to do. So I have mixed emotions. Brandon Ingram, Mike Conley, Dragic, Cracked Ice, Bogdanovich rookie. That's a pretty cool card. Probably worth very little, but I'm going to put it up here because it's a good-looking card. And then a Malik Monk rookie who's trying to rejuvenate his career as a Three-point specialist with the Lakers. I was pretty high on Malik Monk. I knew he had size issues when I'm playing the two, and I knew he couldn't play the one um, coming out of college. But uh, explosive athlete, or at least he used to be. Uh, Brogdon, Kawhi Leonard, Reggie Jackson, Cracked Ice, Trevor Booker. I am going to vomit. <clears throat> uh, Kevin Love. Al Horford, LaMarcus Aldridge. Uh, I keep saying cracked ice. It's uh, theoretically, it's, it's technically, I think it's just called Chinese New Year. Avery Bradley and a Tyler Dorsey rookie. Please comment if you've ever seen three boxes this bad. If you add this with the 1993 Skybox Premium box that I also uh, broke on this channel, it's pretty shocking how bad I've done. Yeah. I literally am throwing darts here and missing any and all cards that could possibly matter. Um, we got a Kimball Walker, DeAndre Jordan, Andre Drummond, a pretty cool looking Chinese New Year Booker, and then a Milos Teodosic. Um, I'll put that Booker in a sleeve. I like Booker. Also on my fantasy team. Last pack, last hope, Chris Paul, Contavious Caldwell Pope, Aaron Gordon, 
Chinese New Year Narkic, and an Ivan Rab from the great state of California and an Oakland Soldier UIBL player. And that is it. So you guys have now wasted about 50 minutes of your life watching three of the worst box breaks ever. Uh, I do have a fourth video coming. It's this 94 Upper Deck SP Basketball, which will be a little bit more entertaining. It's going to take longer. It's uh, 32 packs, eight cards per pack, and I'm just praying that the cards aren't bricked together because that takes forever to bust. But stay tuned. Uh, do me a favor. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. Click the like button if you like the videos and the commentary, even though the cards were dog business. Um, click the bell icon for uh, to stay tuned with uh, all of all of the new videos that I drop and select all notifications so you know when I drop something. Uh, there'll be more than just box breaks. There's a lot of 90s deep dives into some 90s insert cards and parallels. There's gonna be a heavy emphasis on Jordan on this channel as well. If you're watching this video and you're not um, a follower on YouTube or a friend on Facebook, do me a favor and go find my page. It's Cajun Cardboard. Uh, it'll be more the same. Uh, a lot of cool pictures of a lot of cool Jordan cards and some other cards that are in my PC. And uh, I appreciate you following me on this journey through the basketball card universe. Thanks, guys.